Welcome, in front of me is a Motorola Moto G56 and today I will show you how you can go through the setup process of this phone. So, to get started you will want to select your desired language from the list right here, click on the one that you want to use and select start. Next you can set up your device using another phone if you have an old one, as long as it I believe has a Google account signed in on it, but I'm not going to utilize this, I'm just going to go through the setup normally. So next we have a Wi-Fi connection, you can connect to your network if you want to, if you don't you can skip this. Next you can insert a SIM card, which again you can skip that as well. Now if you try to skip both of those, um, SIM card and Wi-Fi, you will be setting up your device without any kind of network connection. And because of that it gives you this information right here that basically you're going to be setting it up offline and with that comes things like you're not going to be able to log into your Google account, restore apps and data, get software updates and have the data and time be set automatically. Now this is only throughout the setup process and afterwards it doesn't really matter as you can just go into the settings, connect to Wi-Fi, insert a SIM card at any point, and it just works. Next we have privacy and security. You can go over this. These are, I believe, from Motorola. Uh, I can disa disable some of them and click on accept and continue. And because I didn't connect to any kind of network, it gives me this date and time so I can fix it up if it's incorrect, but it actually is correctly set. So I'm just gonna go to the next page which allows me then to select a screen lock. By default, it opt, opts into a four digit pin, but I can click right here on this blue text, uh, screen lock options, right? Or whatever it said there, or security options. Uh, and we have things like pattern, pin, and password. So you can choose whichever one you want. And obviously you also don't need to protect your device at all if you don't want to, but I wouldn't actually recommend doing so. It's your device which contains your personal information, your personal data. If you ever lose it, you might not want to have someone, you wouldn't want someone to have easy access to it. This is at work, so it doesn't really matter. Now, because I didn't select any kind of uh, screen lock, it also didn't give me the option to add uh, fingerprint or face recognition as a means of unlocking the device. If you add screen lock, it, I believe, goes through those as well, so it allows you to choose uh, one or both of them as well. Next, we have Google services like location, scanning, and sending user and diagnostic data. You can turn all of those off, but it's Google. Uh, let's be honest, it's not like Google is trustworthy, otherwise there wouldn't be a trust, like lawsuits based on, you know, not being very, uh, reliable in what they are claiming they're not doing or things like that so I would look at this more like a you politely asking Google to maybe not send your diagnostic your data to them as a diagnostic bullshit and Google just kind of looking at you laughing in your face and doing this um, so that's kind of how I see it I could be completely wrong but again they're in lawsuits so I doubt I am Anyway, uh, next we have uh, Stay in Touch. Uh, this is from Motorola. Uh, it's basically them trying to spam, send you spam. I'm gonna select no, not or not now. And again, they want to do it again. So again, I'm gonna select not now. And they are gonna be very persistent and try to do it again. And again, I'm gonna select not now. And again, they're doing it for the fourth time. It's like, fuck off, um, Motorola. Once is enough. Get the hint. Next, we have a live lock screen. This is again something that you most likely want to turn off. It gives you a pretty good kind of uh, example of what this garbage is, which is just generally a bunch of random wallpapers that will be visible on your lock screen. Every time you press the power button to wake up your screen and it's on lock screen, it's going to give you different wallpaper. Uh, and you can also see these are not just kind of like uh, random this is what you're gonna be seeing things like vegetables random beach a brick wall maybe made cleaning or some other things so you most likely want to turn that off i'm gonna actually keep it on just so i can show you at the end of the video what kind of randomness you can expect if it won't recommend uh, require internet to actually work next we have navigation style so here we have buttons and gestures so choose whichever one you want i like gestures myself so that's what i'll be selecting 
Next, theme, light, dark, or both. Um, again, choose whichever one you like. If you tap on uh, one of them, it automatically switches to that mode, so you can see how it will affect the device. Next, we have parental control. Um, again, completely up to you. Set it up or not. If you want to set it up, click right here. If you don't, just skip it. And we're basically done. So let's click finish. Let's swipe up. And there we go. There's our home screen. Now let's see if we need internet connection for these amazing wallpapers. It looks like we do, unfortunately. So anyway, uh, with that being said, hopefully you found this very helpful. And if you did, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching. Thank you.